I want to be able to contribute to the development of a sustainable energy generation and storage technologies and trying to develop solutions that can really uh, impact uh, the societies. Nanophotonics aims to understand and manipulate the interaction between light and matter on a nanometric scale, allowing to redefine the transport and conversion of energy. Julia Taliaburi's Nanoscience Laboratory for Energy Technologies focuses on optoelectronics, specifically the fusion of optics and electronics, with the goal of providing a disruptive approach to sustainable energy creation. So we are trying to understand how uh, beyond confining uh, light and bringing it to the nanoscale, how can we then use the energy of light for further energy conversion uh, processes. And so we try to understand uh, this in a, a broad manner. There are, um, let's say, three main pathways with which we can convert the uh, energy of light. One is a photochemical process, so uh, driving chemical transformation. One is through photothermal effects, so generating heat, uh, very localized at the nanoscale. And another one is through electrostatic coupling uh, with um, ions that are contained in a fluid. You can think about seawater that contains salt. And then we try to understand how uh, we can manipulate the salt-solid interaction, which can also be used uh, for energy conversion. A concrete example of the practical application of this research is the creation of plasmonic photochemical devices that can generate valuable chemicals like fuels and plastic precursors in a manner similar to photosynthesis in plants, consisting of metallic nanoparticles that strongly absorb light in a wide range of colors and are chemically active, i.e. catalysts, these nanodevices can help control the pathway of the chemical reactions thanks to the concentration of light at the molecular level, providing simultaneously strong electric fields, energetic hot carriers and thermal energy. The experiments carried out reveal fundamental aspects of the interaction between the absorption of light, the transport of hot electrons produced by light and their transfer to molecules. Using light and metallic nanoparticles to steer chemical reactions could open a new pathway for the design of photochemical devices. In the next steps of our research, we want uh, to do two things. On one hand, we want to go uh, deeper on some fundamental aspects and in particular, understanding how the heterogeneity of uh, nanomaterials impacts the energy conversion processes. And on the other hand, we want to take the fundamental understanding and the proof of concept devices that we developed and be able to upscale them to have a real world prototype uh, that we could test uh, in real world conditions.